Hello everyone, welcome to Crown Biology Classes. This is Rohit Chaudhary and in today's lecture we are going to study the topic named Class Chondrichthyes. We are going to discuss Class Chondrichthyes under Animal Kingdom series. So let's start Class Chondrichthyes. First of all, why the class is named as Chondrichthyes? Chondrichthyes. Why the class is named as Chondrichthyes? Chondri means cartilaginous. Chondri means C H O N T R I. It means cartilaginous. Cartilaginous. And Ichthys means Ichthys means fishes or fish this means fish cartilaginous fishes are included in chondrichthyes class the first important feature is they are marine animals marine means living in sea or ocean with streamlined body ab inki streamlined body kyun hai taki ye jo water ka flow hai uske saath smoothly move kar sake and they have cartilaginous endoskeleton. Endoskeleton is made up of cartilage. The second important feature is mouth is located ventrally. Ventral side pe located hoga mouth. Alright. The third important feature is notochord is persistent throughout their life. Notochord present hoga throughout their life. It will be present. And the fourth important feature is gill slits are separate. Separate gill slits are present and without operculum. कोई भी कवरिंग नहीं प्रेजेंट होगी गिल स्लिट्स के ऊपर दैट मीन्स विदाउट गिल कवर द गिल स्लिट्स विल बी प्रेजेंट एंड दो गिल स्लिट्स विल बी विदाउट ओपरकुलम और एनी कवरिंग द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर अंडर क्लास कॉन्ड्रिच थिस इज द स्किन इज टफ इसमें जो भी मेंबर्स पाए जाते हैं उनकी स्किन टफ होती है एंड द स्किन कंटेन माइन्यूट प्लेकोइड स्केल्स और स्किन के ऊपर प्लेकोइड स्केल्स प्रेजेंट होंगे प्लेकोइड स्केल्स किससे बने होते हैं कैल्शियम फोस्फेट से Placoid scales are made up of calcium phosphate. Calcium phosphate से बने होंगे और जो teeth है वो क्या है Modified placoid scales है जो modification होती है placoid scales में उससे क्या बनते हैं Teeth बनते हैं और जो teeth है वो है backwardly directed. Shark के case में क्या होता है जो teeth है वो इतने powerful होते हैं कि जो iron ship है उसको damage कर सकते हैं The jaws are very powerful. Alright. And the next important feature is these animals are predaceous. Predaceous means they live by preying on other animals. The next important feature is due to the absence of air bladder. Air bladder is absent in class chondrichthyes. Air bladder is absent in the members of class chondrichthyes. They have to swim constantly to avoid sinking. अब एयर ब्लैडर इनके अंदर प्रेजेंट नहीं होगा तो ये एक्टिवली स्विम करेंगे वाटर के अंदर द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर इज हार्ट इज टू चैम्बर्ड द हार्ट इज टू चैम्बर्ड दैट मीन्स वन ऑरिकल एंड वन वेंट्रिकल विल बी प्रेजेंट इन द मेंबर्स ऑफ क्लास कॉन्ड्रिच थीज द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर इज सम ऑफ देम हैव इलेक्ट्रिक ऑर्गन्स इलेक्ट्रिक ऑर्गन्स भी प्रेजेंट होते हैं कुछ फिशेज में जैसे कि एग्जाम्पल है टोरपेडो टोरपेडो के अंदर ये है टोरपीडो और टोरपीडो में क्या प्रेजेंट है इलेक्ट्रिक ऑर्गन्स ये टोरपीडो फिश है जिसके अंदर इलेक्ट्रिक ऑर्गन्स प्रेजेंट है द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर अंडर क्लास कॉन्ड्रिचिज इज दे पोजेस पॉइजन स्टिंग सम ऑफ द मेंबर्स पोजेस पॉइजन स्टिंग पॉइजन स्टिंग किसमें प्रेजेंट होता है ट्राइगोन में दिस इज द पिक्चर ऑफ ट्राइगोन अब ये क्यों प्रेजेंट है पॉइजन स्ट्रिंग क्यों प्रेजेंट और इलेक्ट्रिक ऑर्गन्स क्यों प्रेजेंट है ताकि ये अपने प्रिडेटर से बच सके द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर इज दे आर कोल्ड ब्लडेड दैट मीन्स पोइकिलो थर्मस दे आर पोइकिलो थर्मस दे आर कोल्ड ब्लडेड एंड दिस टर्म मीन्स दे लैक द 
capacity to regulate their body temperature they cannot regulate their body temperature they cannot maintain their body temperature so they are cold blooded or poikilothermous the next feature is sexes are separate that means unisexual or dioecious condition is present in male pelvic fins bear claspers and what is clasper clasper is a copulatory organ and it is present on the pelvic fins in case of males they have internal fertilization though they live in water but still internal fertilization takes place in them and many of them are viviparous viviparous means giving rise to young ones examples included under class chondrichthys are scoliodon commonly known as dogfish pristis commonly known as sawfish carcharodon commonly known as great white shark trigon commonly known as stingray so these are some of the important examples under class chondrichthys we can see the examples of cartilaginous fishes here the first one is coleodon and the second one is pristis and their caudal fin is heterocircle this is heterocircle condition heterocircle all right but in case of oestichthys homocircle caudal fins are present there is a most important note and under this note we will discuss three to four points the first one is skull skull can be monocondylic or dicondylic monocondylic condition is present in fish reptiles and birds whereas dicondylic condition is present in amphibians and mammals all right dicondylic means having two condyles one two monocondylic means having only one condyle this is one the second one is scales scales can be ectodermal or mesodermal ectodermal scales are present in reptiles birds and some of the mammals whereas mesodermal scales are present in fishes again important talking about kidneys what kind of kidneys are present in fishes in fishes mesonephric kidneys are present all right mesonephric starting with the first pronephric pronephric kidney in which only glomerulus is found example is cephalocordata and larva of lamprey in mesonephric what is present glomerulus and bowman's capsule is present example under mesonephric is adult lamprey fish and amphibians then comes metanephric kidneys metanephric kidneys have glomerulus and bowman's capsule and loop of henle glomerulus bowman's capsule and loop of henle all these three structures will be present in metanephric kidneys an example is reptilia to mammalia all right so in fishes mesonephric kidneys are present the next point is about poikilothermous and homeothermous poikilothermous means cold blooded they cannot maintain their body temperature whereas homeotherms means warm blooded they can maintain their body temperature in poikilothermus the examples are cyclostomata fish amphibians and reptiles in homeotherms the examples are birds and mammals so this is all about the class chondrichthys ending this video on a very positive note and it is said by lord krishna which says embrace challenges as opportunities for growth for they are the stepping stones to success i repeat embrace challenges as opportunities for growth for they are the stepping stones to success thank you so much for watching